So that is what makes a good movie. We need story, action, drama, and some good cinematography. You know what I'm saying? Madame. Madame. Oh, dang. What Dude, I had a terrible nightmare, man. I've been talking to you all this time. You been asleep? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, dude. It's just, yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't been getting much sleep. My bad, dude. Well, what, what, you, you were saying something? It was a terrible nightmare. A uh, nightmare about what? Oh, just freaking giants and like, just like, really just run on stories and just like going nowhere. Man. Oh, man. I saw a movie like you that this past weekend, actually. Really? BFG? Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm dreaming. I have nightmares about this bad movie. I want to sleep too, man. Oh, a few times. Okay. Not just so, me. I feel you. Whew. I can see how I put anybody to sleep. Yeah, man. No kidding, man. I, I can't do another one of those. We won't. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, my bad. All right, now get back to sleep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We got our Steven Spielberg inspired shirts here because yeah. we went to go see, you guessed it, BFG. Um, it was Disney. It was Disney. It was Steven Spielberg. Sp right. It was. Okay, tell um, me more. That sounds good. Uh, that's about the best that you're going to hear about the whole movie. Unfortunately, that's yeah. right. The, the previews that we saw looked really awesome. The graphics looked awesome. The graphics were nice. The whole concept of like a, a giant and Story. a little kid. Yeah. You know, we grew up on Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk, you, know, you know, or David and Goliath. There you, you go. Know, you know, you know, right. So, you know, it looked cool. You yeah. know, it looked like a, a universe we probably want to be in. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. It had so, all the elements of, you know, fantasy and dreamy, you know. Right. You know, and it's Spielberg. So yeah. it must be awesome. It's Disney. Must be awesome. They're gonna. They've been cranking out all these good, you know, oh, cartoon all these, movies. All these great movies, yeah. Um, but I don't know what happened here. They dropped the ball on this one. I felt like. I, I definitely, I agree with you. Yeah, they definitely dropped it. You know, like you know, fifteen minutes into the movie, I was like, okay, I was curious. I was like, this is a lot of build up. Right. And then you know, a minute later, I look over and you're dozing off on me. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like oh, I was I'm good. Like he could feel me staring at him. Yeah. And then and then like I was like definitely not gonna happen to me. You know, at least I'm gonna see this movie through. And I get I kid you not, I dozed off myself like five minutes later. Yeah. It, it was hard to. You know, it was like the build up when you first get there. You know, she's in the orphanage, right? And you know, so we got like a Peter Pan kind of theme in an orphanage, right? So we want to see like you know, is the um, I don't know, I guess the head of the orphanage is she like some mean person, right? You know, what's gonna what's going on? And it's based out of London, kind of like that whole Peter Pan kind right. of vibe. You know, so I'm like, all right, all right, what's going to happen here? You got a little girl orphanage, and it just goes down here from there. We're like, no, uh, it just it just went down here from there. You know, I. I wish that it was better. I don't. I don't like giving. I try to be, you know, um, non-biased. Non-biased. Because yeah. I'm an adult. Open-minded. Really. Right. I'm an yeah. adult, and it's a, it's a kid movie. It's a kid, it's a kid, kid, kid movie. movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But I've seen other kid movies. Yeah, I'm saying. Well, like there was a lot, plenty of really great kid movies that came out this year. Like you were saying, Zootopia and right. um, uh, what was the other? Zootopia, Fine and Dory. Fine and Dory was was definitely good. Mm -hmm. um, not as good as the first one, but yeah. it's still good. Um. But it's just. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like kids would be interested. I yeah. think yeah. so. Someone, um, Conch, his mm -hmm. girlfriend wanted to go see it because right. she said that his her dad used to read her the books to go okay. to sleep. And I was like, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Anyone would go to sleep to that story. Absolutely, because when I was describing the movie to some people, and I was like running it through my brain, you know, I gave them like the whole entire story in a couple seconds, and it was like, you know what? Yeah, it sounds to me like I just read you a little story to go to sleep. Right. Yeah, put, take a little nap right. after that. You don't want it to be too exciting because they got to go to sleep. Right, no. So you have something that's kind of like, you know, very mellow, yeah. anticlimactic. Yeah, and when you're tucking your kids into sleep, you, you're just like, you know, and then, you know, they lived happily ever after. And it's very soothing, you know. And right. that's the way the whole movie felt like, you know. Exactly. It wasn't very climactic and it was just like... All right, is it over yet? Right. right, so after she gets, after we see the orphanage, which really didn't need to be an orphanage, it right. could have been anything, it could have been her room for that matter. Right. Um, you know, she sees the, the giant, and the giant says, you know what, I can't have anyone seeing me, I'm going to kidnap you. Right. 
and they get to this universe. Now I'm like, okay, now we get into the, the the land of the giants, fantasy world. Right, it's gonna be awesome. Yes, and it just wasn't. No, I was like anything. looking for something to hold on to. Right, and I was like, okay, so the the one thing that this giant does is that he collects these dreams, right. good dreams, bad dreams, and they all come from this right. dream tree kind of thing. And I was like, okay, this is really interesting and visually very nice. Right. But still, I was just like, you're not getting me here. Like right. The graphics were good. It was good. He visually, you know, his facial expressions. But you know what? Smiles. I've seen some really nice uh, live wallpapers on my computer that look good, too. And, uh, right. and they yeah, don't tell a story. They don't tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. I mean, there, there's that. I mean, you, it, these movies cannot rely on graphics alone. Uh, tell me a good story. That's going to keep my attention. Right. I wonder um, why Spielberg wanted to do that movie. Yeah. I um, mean... Honestly, mm -hmm. I mean, this is probably blasphemy, but I didn't really like E.T., uh, but I felt like he was kind of going with that type of uh, feel. Right. Because it wasn't like E.T., you had all like these, you know, space fights or anything like that. It right, was just no. him was all trying to get home. Yes. And I felt like it was kind of like on that same level. Yeah. But as an adult, I'm not... Like tree. I, I I very distinctively like remember watching E. T. And for me, like yeah, that's not a story you tell your little kid before they go to sleep, you know. Mm. You know. And so for that, I mean, E. T. always held in my mind, you know, kind of thing. This one, it kind of felt like a M. Night Shyamalan, where like he was just like, you know. But even worse than that, because there was no suspense on what's going on, you know, or what's going to happen. Yeah, no it was just all very control. melodramatic, you know. It was kind of. You know, there were some times where there was you know some sus suspense, like when you know they're collecting the dreams, yes, and they see true. this nightmare dream, yeah. and the nightmare dream says something like, you know, some things can never be forgiven. Mm -hmm. And he's all scared about that. I'm like, well, what can't be forgiven? Right. Because he brought the human into the world or mm -hmm. what? Yeah. And they never did anything with it. They never went with it, you know? It just went away. There were elements where they incorporated that bad dream to, like, some of these other, well, there's giants, like, other bigger giants that are bad. But uh, even those bigger giants, you know, they weren't that scary. You got they scary weren't. elements, they but weren't. they didn't scare you. Right. They were you know? kind of, they were just like, they were bullies. Yeah. But not like scary bullies. Not like, yeah. you know, like, oh man, do not mess with him. Right. You know, it was just kind of like, oh, they're kind of obnoxious a little bit and they just pick on people that they can. Yeah. And they they, they really just swept everything under the rug with that. Right. And then, so the movie is about a smaller giant kidnaps a human. Mm -hmm. He's bullied by these bigger giants that are like, three or four times bigger than him. Definitely, yeah. And then he tries to get rid of them. The story's about getting rid of the, the, the bully giants. Right. You know, so then they incorporate the Queen of England. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is getting bad here. Mm -hmm. Queen of England, is, she just believes it off the bat. She just yeah. believes Well, they make her believe it. Right. With a dream. Well, they had a bad dream, and they actually showed up when she woke up. And another thing about this is that they're describing to us all these dreams in, in full. You know? And I'm just like... You know what? Don't tell me your dreams. It doesn't. It doesn't exist. It's not real. Okay. Right. You know, and it's just like <laughs> that. That. Okay. You don't need to describe me the whole dream and then actually it play out or anything. Right. So yeah. they they go to a they they get these dreams that he collects mm -hmm. and he goes around to different houses and you know pretty much spits a dream in their mouth. Mm -hmm. So she's like, oh, what is a dream? What's a dream about? He's like, he goes detail. He's in. De he goes in, into detail exactly step by step what's happening in this dream he's like okay he's they, putting the all phone these rings together his dad answered it he says son there's a call for you he the son says who is it and the dad says the president, the president. i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> the president called and now they're talking there's no need to go step by step and that was it, just, it was just really yeah, bad it was it, it lost our attention yeah within right away. the first couple seconds i was like are they really gonna play out this whole dream like yeah. they don't need to do all this <laughs> so i want to tell you guys who was in it yeah. Um, there's pretty much no one, though. Um, so, we got yeah. Mark Rylance. He's the actual BFG. And you know, I hated that they actually called him BFG the whole time. The whole time. time, yeah. I think that they should have given him a name. Right. Because, like, using these, like, li BFG, oh, I was, like, getting annoyed BFG, about it. BFG, where are you? Oh. BFG, come out. Yeah. BFG, don't go. Yeah. BFG, like, oh, my gosh, that's not a name. Yeah, just stop it. Right, just stop. <laughs> yeah. Just call him B or G or something, yeah. but don't. 
Don't yeah. keep calling him BFG. Yeah, giant, you know. Right. I don't know. Oh man, that that really did. Well, give him a name, you know, make something up. And then we have uh, Ruby Barnhill. She's been in pretty much nothing. Um, you know, she didn't bring a lot to her character. She's a little girl that gets kidnapped. She, she was the main little girl that got kidnapped. That uh, this is where the story follows. Did uh, you like her in the giant? No, actually, you know, it's like. She reminded me a lot about Alice in Wonderland, so I'm probably gonna get backlash about this, but I don't care for Alice in Wonderland. This guy. It's a frustrating movie to me. Who doesn't like Alice in Wonderland? But I guess I don't like E.T., so I guess too bad. Fine. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, I mean, there are, uh, there are elements where it reminded me uh, her of uh, being Alice in Alice in Wonderland. You hmm. know? Like what? Uh, just, you know, she's getting into like all these predicaments, you know, and, you know, it was just frustrating. Like, don't do that, you know? It's like, oh my god. It, it, it just it was frustrating and just her her character it got annoying after she was a while. definitely annoying what she reminded how what she what she reminded me of is when you're a kid mm -hmm. and the, there's always that one kid that reminds the teacher that there's homework oh teacher you forgot oh, to give us homework that's what she reminded me no. of she was so <laughs> anal and so like uh, gung ho on you yeah. know changing things I'm like she's telling the she's telling BFG yeah. You can't let him treat you like this. You got to stand up for yourself. I'm like, they just threw him like a, like a football. Right, yeah. There's, what is he going to do? Exactly. He has to just go ahead and take it yeah. and use his mind and not... what Physically, he can't do anything. He can't do anything. He but can't she even just, get away from them. Right. Yeah. But she's just like, oh, you got to stand up for yourself. Like, oh, yeah. my gosh. Then you do it. Yeah, exactly. You come out exactly. of my pocket and you stand up for yourself and see how that goes. Right. Yeah. And she just wasn't... She's the, the little... She's like a, a brat. She's kind a of. brat. She's kind of a brat. Yeah, and yeah. and I can't me personally, you know, some of these people who were were bookworms and teachers' pets, maybe they can relate to her. But as as for me, she was really irritating. There's nothing likable about her. She wasn't really cute. No. And I know that you know, it, you don't need to. Everyone doesn't need to be cute in Hollywood. I kind of appreciate that a little bit. But give me a character that I can love, you know. Right, like, at least a nice smile or something. No, just just like you know the 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 way that. You know, if they wrote her character to be, like, how she was, like, really, like, you know, on top of everything, teacher's pet, if you will, you know, maybe that was a bad move. Because yeah. then I felt, like, really, like, a lot less sympathy for her, you know, right. if that was the case. Or just, like, like be a fun character to have, you know? Right. So, I mean, like, th th there was just... But maybe they were, like, kind of going on the, the angle of, you know, we don't want her to be the damsel. We still want her to right. be, you know, a strong woman. Mm -hmm. And I get it. But it's a kid. There yeah. aren't any strong kids. I mean, they're usually not. You right. know, kids are just coming up in the world. Mm -hmm. They don't really know what's really going on or what's what. They might think they do. Right. But at her age, she was maybe, what, 10? Yeah. She doesn't know, you know. And then if we're taking, you're taking me to this whole foreign land where there's these giants. Right. I really should be a little more uh, humble and just willing to really, like, learn and not kind of take over. Yeah. And yeah. and so it didn't... It didn't I mean... It didn't the, do it for me. There are so many things I can say that have gone wrong or I've seen better uh, in one movie or the other movie and not necessarily E.T. or Alice in Wonderland but like even those movies were like much better than what we saw as far as the character development of these main characters and yeah, yeah. I mean just it, it, it lost my attention it, it, there were so many things that didn't need to happen even when they caught the Giants now this is a spoiler what we're, we're gonna give you spoilers we're trying to tell you don't even go see it yeah, um, honestly, like I don't think it's you anything. Can wait. Yeah. You can definitely wait. Um, I don't think it's anything that your kids gonna like, especially with all this, no. how the the kids are today. Right, they they like all the action Absolutely. and fighting and all that stuff. You know, even even action aside, you know, if it's just a, a nice adventure movie, you know, because right. that's that, that's what the kids want. They want to be led on an adventure, you know, taking this and and you know, do it for the uh, the grown ups too, you know, because the grown ups are gonna be the parents are the ones taking these kids to these movies. And you know, yeah, movie, I think that a lot of movies do movies it. like the Minions and all this stuff, where you have this parental figure in the movie, and then you have this like the kid of the movie. Are you telling me you like the Minions? Uh, I'm just saying, like Groot and the Minions. Yes, like that's definitely. The... Okay, oh, right. you like the Minions? <laughs> yes, they're terrible. Hilarious. Terrible movie. Hey, you know what? I'll tell you what's a terrible movie. BFG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. This... You know, even at the end, even at the end, when they actually got this plan together and, right. you know, they went to go get the Giants, I feel like they should have been fighting more. It shouldn't have been so easy. They just swooped them up. Swooped them up. All right, let's go to some, yeah. you know, planet wherever 
Uh, Skywalker is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dropped off on Skywalker <laughs> Island, right. You know, right, right on the island where no one is. You know, right, it was. It looked like the island in yeah. uh, Force Awakens when they they uh, we actually inter were introduced to Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looked like. Right away, you knew exactly. that. That's what it was. Right, <laughs> isolated. They dropped them off, and that was it. Yeah, and that's the end of the movie. That was. I'm it. like, yeah. so there's no fights, there's no nothing, no, no explosions. It was just very common, and they lived happily ever after. Right. And you're asleep, that's it. you know. Right. <laughs> and that's it. Tuck you in. All right. right, right. You know, I would probably have to say this is the worst movie that I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I can't a long time. Yeah, can't compare it to anything. Like definitely this year. You know, definitely this year. You got so many sure. great movies coming out, including you know all the kids' movies, Zootopia and what. I like Zootopia. They were good movies. Yeah. yeah, they were fun. You know, they were hilarious and stuff. Right. You know, fun, you know, something for the kids. You know. Right. And you know, this movie was just like it did not have my attention. You know, and I was like waiting for it. I was like, okay, it's gonna suck me in any moment now. And no. Even when I got done sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, it's getting there, it's getting there. All right, I've slept through all the nonsense, so now we're about to get into it. Right. Nope. No, nothing. Nope. Nothing at all. Go back to sleep. <laughs> all right, so if you had to rate this movie 1 out of 10, 10 being the best movie, obviously it's not there, but 1 being the worst <laughs> movie, either, it's definitely the worst movie I've seen this year, and then it's probably the worst movie. I would not watch this movie again. Never again. Um, You know... I would probably have to give it, and it's it's funny because the Rotten Tomatoes yeah. gave it like a sixty six or a seventy percent. I think that's the fans gave it seventy. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. But still, we'll put the percentage up there for Rotten Rot Tomatoes. Pretty decent uh, review that they got, and I just don't see how that's even possible. I don't see that either. Yeah, no. I'm like, what? Like they either have to do it. it you know what, even if it's within that genre, I can get Zootopia getting like 90% really good, you know? And all these other kid movies, Jungle Book, like up there, you know, really good reviews, you know, 90% and up. And then this movie is just right there, 70%, 60%, and... The entire thing right below it at 37%. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, are we doing it to the genre or just to the overall movies that come out? Um, you know, that's a good question. I, I really would like to talk to someone and what's the format? Some of these critics. It, is it like something, is it, is it by genre? Is the genre that we're talking about, mm -hmm. do we have certain criteria that this genre doesn't right. or what? Because I don't see how they gave Tarzan a 37 and this one a 66. Right. Because honestly, if I had to answer you. Yeah. It would probably be a one. Yeah, definitely. I don't yeah. have any other movie to really compare it to. Right. I'm gonna. It's probably my first one that I've ever gave. Yeah. It's pretty pretty bad. There's nothing really going on in that movie. I mean, I can think of a couple movies that I didn't like for one reason or another, but definitely I can think of a million reasons of why I did not like this movie. And for that reason, I have to give it a one. Yeah. I have to give it a one. You know, and and I would love to know what the recipe for these critics are. You know, or what their checklist is. All right, do we have sweet, sour, spicy, whatever it is? Right, you right. know, because maybe like, we're let, missing something. Let me know. You know, and, and then I can I, you know, see what they are. Leave they're a mind. comment. You know, I might be wrong. You know, but my gut instinct tells me this movie wasn't going to be that great. And you know what? I went to go see that movie, open-minded, because it's Disney, it's Spielberg. You know, got your shirt. Love your movies. It's awesome. This movie was not that. I thought it was going to be good, you know, I convinced him to go, he did not want to go, but yeah. I was like, no, it's BFG, it's one of these summer blockbusters, well, kind of a blockbuster, yeah. and we got to, you got to see, it's going to be good, everyone else is going to be seeing it, let's do it, we didn't get to do any reviews on the other kid movies, right. so let's kind of change it up, we don't always need to do, you know, these big blockbuster with Marvel or DC or whatever, right, of course. let's do something, you know, Disney, that's fun, Yeah. sorry. I'm sorry, man. I know. I didn't mean to make you go see BFG. I'm sorry. <sighs> I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I would have to agree. The one is, is right on point. It, it's a firm one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the only reason I gave it a one is because the visuals were really nice. The only reason why I gave it a one is because you have to go one through ten. <laughs> if we can say zero through ten, it would probably be a zero. Visuals are not the make or break for me. Yeah. I mean, like you said, you have some wallpaper yeah. on your computer. That's good. Yeah. You know, but after after a while, you move on. Yeah, exactly. Because there's nothing really being told, and there was nothing really told in this in this uh, no. movie. So 
All right, guys, that's our review. We both gave it a one. You know, let us know what you thought. Maybe we're tripping. Maybe we're missing something. Maybe it was something that we're just not connecting and that that you connect with. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can that can open up our eyes to you know how we rate these movies right. you know, later on. Now, if you went and saw this movie and you agree with us, let us know. And if not, tell us why. Definitely. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Adan. And we're out. Like, subscribe, share us with all your friends and family. Definitely do some comments. We want to, you know, whatever you guys think. If there's anything we need to improve or anything that you like that we can just keep doing, let us know. Because we're, you know, we are new and we need all the support that we can get. All right. See you guys next time. Peace. Hey, Conch. Yo. So, I can't really figure it out for myself, but if you had a mutant ability, what would it be? Huh. I never thought of it. I could tell you. But. <laughs> So you want to have cardboard growing out your hands with a cardboard box on your hand? Dude, it's Webin X. Ka-chink, ka-chink, snick it, snick it. You shall not pass. Dude, just let us in. You shall not pass. Jeez, Jeez. dude.